From this video, I will show you how to setting our application. First, I have to look at the map and I file where that I wanna click. Yeah, and click this one and again this one. Also, I can play it on the pinpoint, and it will show you ID minus one. After that. I press the save button and then it will show you the ID, the real ID that 37 and 38. So I have to upload the video to our system. So I have to put the date, exactly date of video and the time of video and then I need to choose the file or video and then I open it and it is uploading to our system. Okay, it's this way. And I will show you how it's processing. Okay, you can see the vehicle pass around with the white object and we check this white object with the size okay i think it's done and after that i have to set the uploaded video to match with our point so we choose that one and then we have to customize the bloom mark and late mark so i mesh with our point and then we place the ok button mm -hmm. And after that, if we customize all the point, and then we will got the pinpoint like this. Next, I will show you how this system report. So you have to check on the date that you want to see the report. So you can slide on the timeline to the time that you want in our day okay and you can go like this again like this and the color will interact with the slider as well and then if you click on the line and it will show you the graph that report the speed against the time and number of vehicle against the time you can click on it and it will show you the detail in time also they have another function you can click on the data chart and it will show you in the information point as well and you can export this data to the CSV file format 
and I will show you. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the speed and number of car. Okay, I will close it. Also, we have a uh, add one report that you can go to the time that you want. Another function of our system is called root panel. Root panel will find you the best way to go in the time that you want. And we can have the start point and the end point. And if you wanna go to that destination on 6.30, you can go click the calculate, you will show you the direction. And again, you change the time, it will change direction as well. Then you can click on the direction and it will show you the state that you have to pass and the distance and also the time consuming and speed that you can use. So it will interact with the time. You can check on it again. Okay, that's all about it.